for the crowd size candidate. Is there any place better to be than a Trump rally? A new twist on President Trump's defiance. I said, no way, I will never abandon the people of Minnesota. Visiting Rochester, Minnesota late Friday, the president played up a feud over the Democratic governor's pandemic restriction on public gatherings. I did not forget you because we were given a very, very hard time by your so-called leaders. The Trump official event complied with a 250-person limit. Fewer people led to a shorter speech, just 23 minutes instead of the usual hour plus. But the president made a side trip to greet an overflow of tightly packed supporters who were denied entry. Thousands of people, all because the governor wants to play games. A Great Lakes Day on the campaign. Hello, Wisconsin. We're back. We're back. In Green Bay, the president downplayed the dangers of COVID while stressing the promise of a vaccine and the benefits of treatments like he received. I got better quick. He grinned as the crowd cheered him as Superman. Hours earlier in Michigan, the president mocked mask wearing. No way. Are you wearing a mask? Chiding his conservative media ally, Fox News' Laura Ingram, off stage. Never seen her in a mask. Look at you. Oh, she's being very politically correct. Whoa. But he also accused the medical community of manipulating COVID data for profit and to make U.S. figures look worse. The president claimed doctors cite COVID as a cause of death when patients also had other serious illnesses. We mark it down to COVID. You know, our doctors get more money if somebody dies from COVID. The American College of Emergency Physicians calling that charge, quote, reckless and false. Urging his supporters to turn out, he brushed off Democrats' early voting push by saying his voters are waiting for Tuesday. I could say go to vote on Saturday or on Sunday or Monday. They really want to vote on Election Day. And even in these final days, the Trump campaign wants to keep flexibility about the president's schedule with at least 14 rallies set. In part, he says he wants to do this because he gets a lot of media attention and free exposure that would cost tens of millions if they had to buy the ad time. And in addition, he believes that his supporters coming out to these events is a way to counter the polling, which consistently shows Joe Biden ahead and a way for the president to say he's got a chance to win this. Peter, Kristen. Kelly O'Donnell in the crucial state of Pennsylvania this morning. Kelly, thank you.